Okay, we're back with another unboxing video. Seems like I'm doing a lot of that for the Sega systems, but hey, if the PS2 were a little bit smaller, then this bad boy would certainly be on the shelf. Uh, of course, the Mega Drive is already on the shelf, but uh, yeah, this is the Hello Kitty Special Edition Dreamcast. Uh, they made three colors of these. This is the candy pink, or whatever color you want to call that. You'll see it comes with a controller, the system, the keyboard, and the VMU unit, which may or may not be in the box. Uh, here's one of the sides. So, pretty much the same artwork as the front, back, same, uh, bottom, the bottom is the same as well, and one more side, you've got the specs and other information, and you can see this was, uh, you've got the Sanrio sticker there, so that's pretty cool, and this was purchased in Heisei Ninen originally by, uh, the, one of the previous owners, whoever, at SoftMap. But, uh, yeah, I don't know who owned it before, but it's been mine for a long, long time. So, we're going to open this up. Uh, well, I should probably turn it on its side first. But, uh, okay, start off with some lit. And you'll see this is the Luck and... Luck Web TV, Akuraku Web TV. So basically, they're telling you to watch TV online through your Dreamcast. So that's some interesting stuff. You got the network. The network is interesting. Of course, the lovely Dreamcast orange with the spiral. Uh. Dreamcast de Omoshiro Netowaku. Yep. So, network games, internet, all sorts of good stuff. And how to connect. Let's see. Then you got the Anzen no Tamini, so safety measures from Sega. Uh, lots of things to be careful of and you've got the cute little drawings don't plug it in wet don't drop it uh, leave it flat don't overheat it stuff like that uh, don't step on it uh, don't play the floor is lava and then the next dream you can make the next dream. Dreamcast partners. Uh, okay, whatever that is for. Dream Point Bank. So, that, sign up for their point club. Lots of stuff that never got used by anyone, apparently. And what is this? The Hello Kitty Dreamcast set. Uh... Talking about the Dream Passport uh, version up. So, lots of stuff in here. Here is the user manual. And we're not going to spend too much time with that. But, again, how to connect to your TV. Alright. And moving on, Lovely Fruit Park. So... One of the many Hello Kitty games for the Dreamcast. I'm not sure which one that is exactly, or if I own that one. I own one or two of them, and one of them came with this, so... Mill CD, Music Interactive Live, okay. Interesting stuff there. Continuing on, Hello Kitty Dream Passport Guidebook. Good Lord, 70, over 70 pages of uh, how to use Dreamcast Online with Hello Kitty. Goodness, goodness. Okay, how to input with the keyboard and everything. Ah, you can see some piece of software there. Almost ready. Atsumete Gojira.
Is this actually the uh, instruction booklet for the Godzilla VMU, which I also have, but I could have sworn I bought separately. Uh, menu 5 and Menu 6 sound have issues, apparently. Okay, and... Good lord, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, yeah, here's the Dream Passport software itself. There, yes, <laughs> nothing to that insert because, hey, we already had that gigantic manual from before, and that's not really going in there nice, but there's the disc, Hello Kitty Dream Passport, and you can hear the sirens in the background, good timing. Okay, slide that back in there. Yo. Soft map receipt which is mostly faded nice nah I couldn't possibly have gotten that for 8800 yen used although maybe I did because that was this is another soft map information thing wow okay so all of that just in that thing see there's a slot for the VMU which is obviously not there what is Chab Isao.net Dream Passport 3. So there should be more online goodies. Uh, hold on one second. There we go. That's off. Anything else here of note? Aside Dream Passport 3. Not really. So what's inside this bad boy? Okay, Dream Passport 3, again, the software to go online for your browsers and whatnot. Uh, I wonder, maybe if somebody knows more than I do, if you had to install something to the, the system itself, if you even could install anything to uh, go online with the various games, or if the adapter was all that was needed. Okay, okay, access information, go online, let's enjoy a magazine about whatever program they were using, Dreamcast Direct, Mr. Driller, hey, look at that, and another network guide, okay, so that seems a little bit excessive, I'm not sure if that was actually in there originally, but it is now. Uh, you've got our, I think it's just a regular phone cable here for the modem, so that's interesting. Throw that to the side. We'll need to take this out to get at the, what we want to see most. Ooh, that's upside down. Okay, and here is the keyboard, which is not in the plastic for some reason. And this, that is probably why it doesn't close nicely, because the cord's all mangled weird, and it's not even in the box. Okay, well, we, hey, we get to repackage that. And if this lifts up, we might be able to tuck the cord under there, because that seems like empty space right now. Okay, so that's three uh oh boy i wonder if the controller's even in here because i do like to uh oh, okay there's the bottom of the handle and it seems like this okay well maybe i need to figure out how to repackage this <laughs> this bad boy or bad girl okay here's the RCA cable, unlike the one that came with the CDX in the previous video, this one is complete. So that's a good thing. Uh, okay. Uh, I have a feeling the controller is underneath the console there. But okay, here we are. And yeah, it looks a little faded. I don't know if that's if it was out in the sun or before I had it some yellowing unfortunately what can you do uh, but yeah hello kitty 
Dreamcast there. See the back power, uh, serial port, line in for the phone. So does that mean that this doesn't need the modem or? That would be very interesting. You got the bottom there, and of course, there was the were the four controller ports we talked about the yellowing. Okay, and oh, beautiful. Okay, so again, we've got the same massive yellowing on the uh, the control stick. But again, what are you gonna do? You see Hello Kitty there. I mean, uh, this is I. I'm not normally a fan of pink, but I just thought the system was so cute. Had to pick it up. It was so different to anything else uh, I own or owned. So, yeah, one of those Japan specialties. And two VMUs, which I am probably going to swap out the... Uh, well, I guess they're called button batteries stateside. That was the first time I heard that when... Uh, there was the news report about kids eating them and getting sick or dying. But apparently, if you give them honey on the way to the ER, it sort of neutralizes the effect until the doctors can do anything. So don't make them vomit it up. Uh, how can you be dusty inside there? Okay, well here's the Hello Kitty VMU. As you can see, it would have fit very nicely in that slot on the top of the box but uh yeah i guess i'd rather just keep it in the uh, controller back side not much to really look at uh where's the power button is it just you hit any of these okay so yeah <clears throat> definitely oh don't tell me that's not no there's the cr32 under that okay ooh i have to unscrew that uh same with the Godzilla memory card. Sleep. Again, controls. Nifty little technology. What does that say? What does it say? Ah. Of course. Uh, Toho Company Limited, if you can make that out. All rights reserved, I believe. Very small print. And not the best lighting. But okay. So there you have it. That is the Hello Kitty Dreamcast. Unboxing. Hope you liked it. Uh, again, part of 31 days. I just opened randomly. Part of 31 days of Sonic and getting a little bit out of focus there, but uh, yeah, part of 31 days of Sonic. Hope you like the Dreamcast unboxing and we'll be back at you with some gameplay from this system in a couple of days. So until next time, have a good one.